I've written a new book called I Survived a Secret Nazi Extermination Camp. I'd like to tell you a little bit about it. Let me explain the title. First of all, it wasn't me who survived a, an extermination camp. I wasn't even born when these events took place. The person who survived the death camp was a man called Rudolf Rader. Rader was a Polish Jew who was taken from the Lvov ghetto, along with 6,000 other Jews, to Belzec, an SS death camp hidden in the forests of eastern Poland. Almost all of these 6,000 men, women, and children were killed within two hours of arrival. Redder survived because he was an engineer and could work at the camp. For example, he could repair the tank engine that was used to poison the victims. In all, some 600,000 Jews and 50,000 gypsies were killed at this death factory over a period of 18 months in 1941 and 1942. I call Belzec a secret camp because it was deliberately hidden deep in the forests in a sparsely populated region where there were a few people to witness what was happening there. No records were kept of the victims and no documents were created to mark this nightmarish place. The Nazis wanted this crime to be completely hidden. Redder survived for four months before escaping. He managed to survive until the end of the war when he gave a report of his experiences to a Jewish historical commission in Krakow, which was gathering evidence about the Nazi war crimes. It's this witness statement of Redder's that forms the first part of my book. Redder describes the horrific and barbaric events he witnessed and of the suffering of the victims. It's not an easy read, but it's important to hear this first-hand account of the Nazi atrocities. The second part of the book is a memoir by me about how I came to learn about Redder and of Belzec. I'm not a child of Holocaust survivors. My grandparents all came to America as immigrants at the turn of the last century. So to me, the Holocaust, when I first became aware of it as a boy, was more historical than personal. It only became truly personal when I started to do family research a few years ago, and I understood that all of the relatives that my grandparents had left behind in the old country sisters, cousins, uncles, and aunts were almost all killed in the Holocaust. This discovery was disturbing and profoundly moving, and I had to try and create a spiritual bridge between my life, untouched by tragedy, and that of these innocent victims of the Nazis. I hope this book can help others to build similar spiritual bridges.